Okay, I am back. Can you guys see me? Why is it so blurry? Can you guys see me? Perfect, perfect, perfect. I think this is trying to. To there we go. Bad, bad. Okay. Hi guys. Okay, let's do this. I think it'll work now. All right, all right. We're just waiting. We're just waiting. Technology, you know, takes us time. I'm lucky. Why is my camera oh. not working? It just goes black. Can you see us, man? No. I can see you. I can see well, you guys. Can you hear me? Okay. You... As long as we yeah, can hear you. We can hear you. We can't see ourselves, but that's, that's okay. probably a good that's, thing. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry, but you guys look good. Don't worry. <laughs> ben, hold the camera so we uh, can go into the studio. We're going to take you guys to the studio because it's just going to be a bit more cool to do it from the studio. Is the signal okay? Going to be okay, then? Uh, I Hundred percent. How's it going? How's it? How's it, guys? Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. For you all that are viewing, um, for you who don't know, today we'll be joined by the the legendary. Good luck. Um, who go by the names of Matthew, Ben, and Juliet. I hope. Uh, I hope they will be giving us some insights on on how they became so awesome. Um, and obviously, if you guys want to <laughs> some questions, please shoot some questions. And then let's do this. But yeah, good luck. Thank you for joining. Welcome to our studio. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Is that the Good Luck HQ? Yes, that's the Good Luck HQ. This is where all the magic happens right here. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, it's quite a special place. We have a studio cat. You want to see him? Please, please. Let me see. Oh, he's hiding. No, he's running away. Sorry. Don't worry. He'll, he'll turn up. You'll get he'll to see him so, He's shortly. very cute, though. Here he is. Come, baby, come. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I don't know whether anyone can see that. Yeah. Anyway, guys, how are you guys? Are you guys well? Yeah, we're super good. Um, we've had a, a lot of touring the past few weeks, so it's nice to be home finally and just, you know, we can get in the zone, which is exciting. Make some music yeah, those, and all that, yeah. For those that don't know, who is Cape Town, I'm guessing. Cape yes, Town. we live in Cape Town. Yep, we live in Cape Town. We have our studio here. It's uh, it's really beautiful. I mean, I, I think once you've, you always want to live where you grew up, you know. Just watch out. Exactly, it's it beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so uh, all this works. I'm just gonna ask a few questions. Um, it won't take more than let's say seven minutes. Literally, it's yeah. just a convo, and yeah, let let people get to know you <laughs> in the events coming up. Sounds right, good. All right, so. Awesome. So I'll just start with a bit of a background. Um, good luck. Who is who? So obviously, I'm guessing you're Juliet. Who is Matthew? Who is the <laughs> Ben? <laughs> yeah, we don't know who Juliet is. Yeah, I'm Jules, but no one calls me Juliet. Only my mom, which is mad at me. <laughs> so who, what's the difference with Julie? Is that, is that good? <laughs> no, Jules. Jules is good. Jules is good. Julie. No, no one calls me that either. No. Your grandpa Jules. calls you Julie. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no she's like a guy. Good. Yeah, I'm I'm Jules. I'm the lead singer of Good Luck. Um, ben. I'm ben. I do. No, well, like I guess the producer. I'm Chucky. Okay. I'm Keyboards and the full. And the full. Yeah. <laughs> I must say, I must say, you guys are so cool. Um, I enjoy your music. We are great fans, and we just want to get to know you and pick your brain about the cat. So Thank you. yeah. <laughs> Um, first questions first. How did the name Good Luck come about? Like, uh, what, what, Do you know what, that question? what was it? Do you want the honest answer? Do you want the honest answer? Honestly, we've, well, let's be honest. We've banned <laughs> that question from our uh, list of questions that people can ask us. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Um, so uh, if you want to know really how the, the name came about, basically, I was, I was on a, a a spiritual journey in India um, in my in my early 20s and um, I hadn't eaten for about 18 days and so I was having this really amazing metaphysical sort of like experience and the name good luck just kind of like came into my head I don't know I, you know like I was I was looking at someone making some dal curry and, and like there was just this moment that kind of like it, it just sort of like it almost like rose out of the steam of the dark curry. <laughs> um, and he tells the story all the time. 
start the sense of bias. <laughs> yeah, I always enjoy it. We always that. enjoy it. <laughs> No, it's not what happened. It's a load of crap. Every time we make up a different story, there is no there is honestly we just we like the word. The words were nice. <laughs> But we're trying to we're trying to be creative every time we I someone asks us that question, we're going to have a different story just for fun. I can't wait. <laughs> okay. Sorry. And um, before you guys started, I I believe you guys started about 8 years ago, 2011. Um yeah. who inspired you? Who inspired you to start and become a become a music sensation. Well, Goldfish was obviously like that's that's one of the guys in Goldfish is my brother. So, um oh, I actually grew up with this love of electronic music which I'd sort of um uh, he's my older brother and he he went off and he studied jazz and he always used to frown at down at me and I'd like be going to all these like raves and techno parties and trance parties and um And he was he was a jazz guy. He's like a jazz catch. You yeah. know? So he'd be like no dude that stuff's like really terrible um and um so then <laughs> then he started goldfish and i was like hey <laughs> you're stealing my thing bro yeah, but it was fine because <laughs> he combined his love of, of jazz with a uh, love of electronic music and so he sort of he showed me a, a a way of of translating my love for electronic music into a live realm that i hadn't even really thought about and so They were a really big inspiration for basically just knocking down that first door of going like hey you can take electronic music and all the instrumentations that you like and the and your 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 love of, of live performance with instruments and you can put it onto a stage you can put it into a club you can you can kind of put it anywhere and uh, yeah. and so that how it, it like kicked off in its infancy but i mean the list of influences for all of us is about as long as yeah yeah the very great wall of china Yeah. I like the fact that you mentioned goldfish. Um are you guys now would you guys say you're competitors in the game because you guys have the same genre of music? Um do you guys I know you guys collab a lot. I know you guys perform together a lot. But would you guys would you guys say you're competitors? No, you know, I don't think music is a competition at all. Um and I think yeah. that you can i mean you can be inspired by each other and you can uplift each other but i think it it depends on your mindset and how you approach it um yeah definitely there are certain musicians in the industry that like to see other people as threats but for us i have beef, yeah. have beef you know maybe that's quite a rattling thing to do but for us it's like we don't we don't really believe in that we just believe that there's like not a limited amount of success or happiness in the world you know and everyone can have a, a great career so no i wouldn't say we competitors i think we inspire each other um and i think also okay. <clears throat> we we try and take that sentimentality to like in our what we're trying to do as a band is we're trying to inspire other artists and next year like we're starting a, a program with um bridges for music where we we're going to be you know trying to just mentor as many um young up and cal- coming talents as we can there isn't a um, limited okay. amount of success that's what i just said yeah exactly so that, yeah. that when, you, when you have that <laughs> when you have that as your foundation of like why you would be competitive in mm-hmm. the first place like the only time yeah. i think you get competitive is if someone like copied your song directly and you were like exactly. hey dude that's Yeah. yeah. But I also think I think from the perspective of us like you know um we haven't had the opportunity to perform with them much. And okay. um they've obviously moved to overseas. I don't know if you know that but they're living in America now and um the really yeah. exciting thing is that we've actually booked them for our end of year New Year's concert that we're throwing in Plata Nizhna. So we got yes, yes. Goldfish and Kotak on stage for the first time like ever and we're double billing on like the same night big party same act same lineup two towns so it's going to be cool I can't wait i think i think if 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 the lord allows me i'll be there i will be there definitely just to witness this great yes see <laughs> yes thank yeah. you um one of my greatest hits or favorite songs from you guys is uh, taking it easy i think taking it easy was one of my favorite tracks um, i couldn't even believe it it was from a south african uh, musician but um your new track now do your future me tell us about it um what what went out behind that i saw the music video pretty interesting um yeah oh uh, so well basically the song first came about i think probably a year ago a year yeah. and a half ago yes. uh, we were in holland and we met up with a cool producer called jonas uh what's his name it's a creator yeah. he's junasu <laughs> yeah junasu that's his actually like his artist name and yeah. obviously better 
a quite a tired day because we had a bunch of uh, writing sessions prior to that, right? And then we just got into the studio. We came up with uh, something all together, and but we never really developed it. It was like six hours in studio, and we just left it, and we just try to figure out a way to make it better. But it took us probably a year to mm -hmm. actually figure out the final product. Yeah, it like went went all the way down one path, yeah. and then turned around and came back. <laughs> and I think we we tried. It, I mean, we, from Ben's perspective, he, he wanted to explore every possibility to see how the song could actually uh, end up, right? Because sometimes we, we haven't got it right. No, no, yeah. no. So we were like, we were just farming, looking for like the thing that was gonna yeah. finish it. But then we got used to that sound uh, when we first created. Yeah. But ultimately, we that's not what we wanted for the song. And then, yeah, after a year and a bit, <laughs> it eventually came together. We pulled it out of the closet again and, and read it, yeah. There wasn't a moment, though, hey, where we were like, oh, there. Mm. It just kind of like slowly yeah. evolved into, there were like all these different little things. We did a we did a session yeah. with a really good musician from Cape Town called Ross McDonald. Okay. We did a lot of work okay. with a lot of writing. Mm. And, he, and he like, he extrapolated on, on a melodic idea that was already in the song. And then yeah. like we had this next, and it just kind of, it, it, it like evolved. Well, yeah, that's true. It, yeah. Was, it was never a moment of, oh, that's it. Yeah. it kind of like every studio session like evolves, which is quite cool. Yeah. Which is why it took a year. I think that's, yeah. quite, I think that's quite beautiful. That's quite beautiful. I mean, the art, art takes time as well. So the fact that yeah. you guys can finally finalize it and make it a hit, I mean, who can complain? No one, you understand? So, <laughs> great, Thank you. great, 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 great stuff. So I want to talk, because obviously we're party for tonight. We focus on events. And let's, focus, yeah. let's talk about, obviously, your Get Lucky summer event in, in Plet and Nasna, as you guys mentioned. Um, you said, obviously, it's never been done before, but what else can people expect and what else can people look forward to? Because we wouldn't mind coming to play, to be honest. I mean, we've yeah, never gone there. Yeah, I think you guys there. have to. I think you have to. Yeah. You know what? about that event series it's been going for six years um and it started out like just ben and ben and um, myself had this like dream of of basically doing um a party in the like the coastal town where we grew up hey start sorry george is li li george is literally sharpening his claws i'm shocking okay, hey. <laughs> he's doing this on his leg he's, he's a little tired um so um so basically, we wanted to like we had this dream of making an event series in the, the holiday towns where we grew up because you know we we're always going there yeah. on holiday. There was some stuff to do, but there wasn't much to do, and definitely wasn't a lot in the live music space. And we'd always drive past on our way to like other towns to go do shows. Yeah, and, and it's like never a gig. Yeah, yeah. much going on in the live music side, and so we thought like we're going to start something. So we started it six years ago, and it's grown to be I think probably the biggest garden root live music event series over summer. Um, and it's crazy because it was just like a little residency in the beginning, you know, it wasn't supposed to be anything like massive, but it, it's just morphed into something yeah. really much bigger than we expected it to be. Um, so this year we were doing like 11 shows um, and they roll out with like a really amazing lineup. We've got, well, good luck players at each show, but we've got artists like, we've got Matthew Moll, we've got Jeremy Loops, we've got Goldfish, we've got Rubber Duck, we've got All the Birds, we've got Desmond Lots of bands, lots of bands, and it's like basically like the creme, the creme de la creme. Yeah, creme. and so yeah, we start, we start on the eighth of December in Cape Town, and we've got a gig. We've got our first one debuting in Hermanus this year on the twenty eighth of December, and then we've got like five shows and four shows in Nice and five shows in Plet. So it's a so like every it's week, it's week. like it's like there's there's a couple of shows in each town. Hey Ginger, <laughs> Ginger yeah. join. I wait, Ginger. <laughs> So, so that's quite cool. At least we can't miss it. We can't miss it. We don't have an excuse to miss it. Um, so definitely, thank you for that. Now, I see you guys will be in Joburg <laughs> next week uh, with uh, Timo ODV. Um, yeah, you can you tell us about the event? Yes, of course we'll be there. Of course. You can you tell VIP. us about the <laughs> Oh, please. We'll be there. I'll be your MC. <laughs> awesome. That'll be right. Um, yeah, so that's a really exciting event. It's the first time we're doing our own party in Sandton. Um, every year we've thrown in a very successful event at the Good Luck Bar in Johannesburg. And uh, it's always been great. It's always been like a, a really cool... It's kind of... I think it's novel, Good Luck at the Good Luck Bar. Like, people even think we own that venue because it's... The, but I we don't. We don't. <laughs> um, and, and we just we just figured, like, it's time to do one in Sandton because we've got a lot of fans from that area and, you know... Yeah, the, it's, I feel like also if you're from, like, 
sounding a little four ways. It's like it's, it's really, fun. it's really far to and and hell, if you're from Pretoria, it's even further. Or, to drive to town, yeah. yeah. So we we're doing it first time, and Pico is a good friend of ours. Yeah, um, yeah. he's he's going to be performing as well. Like, and we've just also booked Apple Goulet, which is really cool. He's Ooh. great. Uh, also in that <laughs> Apple, he's also in that um, sphere of like more the more kind of deeper side of electronic music. So. We'll be the ones balancing yeah. it out. Yeah, we'll be the we'll be the ones kind of bringing more of the live element, and then we've got yeah, some really good, dark, like deeper music from the other two acts. Right. Um, it's gonna be a good vibe. That's awesome. We'll probably will be there, definitely taking some footage. Hopefully, we can have a chat with you as well. Um, yes. Yeah. But now, um, just to run off, is there any advice you guys would give your 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 well, not, I wouldn't say your followers, but most likely people that aspire to be like you, um, musicians out there that aspire to be like you, what advice could you literally give them that makes sense and actually that, yeah, they need to stick to, basically? Yeah, it's a very, yeah. it's a, like, I, we could sit here for, like, probably five years. Um, okay. What overall advice would you give? You've got some good advice, Chucks. Oh, come in. I think from, uh, from your craft perspective, obviously there's a lot of different elements that are, in this industry, it's not only about music and, uh, I mean, they would and tell performance, you, and yeah. performance. There's yeah. a whole other bigger um, circle that you, that you are in, right? Uh, but I think if it comes to what you actually enjoy doing, if it's your craft, and if it's songwriting, playing piano or playing drums, producing, I would say practice it as much as possible as you can and just okay. work at it every day. That's the basic rule to anything, right? Yeah. Uh, obviously, you can have a lot of uh, you have to come across, and you're gonna have to figure your own way how to deal with that. Yeah. Well, I think there's a step actually before what you yeah, just yeah. said, which you actually touched on. Yeah. Which is that you have to decide before you move forward what it is actually that you want to do. Yeah. yeah that's do you want to be a? Do you want to be an artist? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to be a manager? Do you want to be a booking agent? Do you want to work for a record yeah. label? Do you want to go into publishing? Do you want to do live events? Yeah. Like, yeah. you have to figure out what it is that you want to do before you start, like, really sticking your head into your 10,000 10, hours. Or do you want to be, like, good luck and do a little bit of everything? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Which is an option, but it's, a, it's, it's, it's not easy yeah. um, doing it this okay. way. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's not. And I, but I, I think also they, um, prior to me joining, uh, they very well educated with regards to uh, music and uh being a manager, their own manager, or being like your own publisher in a way, right? So I think it's good. those rules that. Uh, I think if you yeah. want to, if you want to take like Chuck's advice here, the, the way to like to approach it is that because it is, it's it, at the core of everything. Your discipline is what is going to set you apart. Yeah. Okay. It's going to create more luck in your world. Is whether or not you apply that discipline to all the different spheres of what it's going to take to be a professional musician. Yeah, because you can't just sit at home and practice your piano and become the best pianist. Ain't nobody going to care what you're doing. Very You've got true, to then do an hour of piano practice, an hour of figuring out how to, how to be a booking agent, an hour of figuring out how to be a better songwriter, an hour of figuring out how to like know the... Um, the platforms that you're releasing your music on better and what the pitfalls are and what the legalities are and how you can reach that because at the end of the day being a professional music musician in whatever sphere it is whether it's from a performance perspective or even a management perspective you're bringing a product to market so if you're just yeah. practicing your instrument at home you're not bringing any product to market so when Chucky says hone your craft he means the yeah, whole entirely. thing and it's not like, like yep. you said, it's not, about, it's not about talent, actually. Yeah. It's actually, I mean, yeah. there can be so many, there's so many talented people in this sure. world, right? Yeah. But I think at the end of the day, it's about you going out there and creating your own luck. Like, it's, it's not going to come, it's not going to come to you. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. yeah. And just, and, 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 and what you do every day is rocking up, like yeah. rocking yeah. up for. It's going to be hard. <laughs> yeah. It's not, look, it's I would reconsider the career choice, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to have a life outside of what you do. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's lots of fun, but it's, uh, but it's, it's hectic. Make no mistake. No, but guys, wow, guys, thank you so much for that. That's really, really uh, inspiring and true in the same sense. Um, yeah. Last two questions, last two questions, and then uh, we can call it a morning. Okay. So when 
what's the most nerve-wracking moment you guys ever had? Mo- most nerve-wracking moment that you guys have ever had? Nerve-wracking moment. <clears throat> for parting for Ben, there's a lot of nerve-wracking every show. <laughs> because there's so many different elements to what goes on in this. It's not a simple yeah. plug-in. Yeah, I was sitting here just six and then I was like, she's which one? Shut up. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I think for me it was like we did this. And it was actually even before, it was even before Good Luck was really good. Like we were actually another, we were in another band called Jack Sharp Electro. We, we were just like for, okay. called Jack Sharp. It was and, just like, it was a different Yeah. Thing. And for me, I think one of the most nerve wracking ever things ever, we played a show and, um, which was being live streamed around the world. Um, and we had like one minute changeovers in between the bands and yeah. we had to exactly because it was like, it was going live in Germany and Turkey and all, all these countries. And if we didn't do it on like the second, like it would be, you know, it would just fail completely. And it was terribly mm-hmm. scary because it was drum kits and bass amps and guitars and people and one minute, 30, like 60 seconds to get one band off and one band on. And it was like, I felt like what it must be like to be, you know, kind of, yeah, yeah I don't know, on The Voice or something, which we've done actually prior. We've actually I done think, that I too. Think, uh, I think maybe The Voice. Uh, the Voice was the same, actually, yeah. We did that, we also did that super yeah. fast yeah. changeover. Tell them it's, it's more about yeah. like, So, seasons. like, our live show is, is <laughs> crazy complicated. We, because it's all electronic music, there's like... yeah. I don't know, it must be about like mm-hmm. 20 different electronic instruments on stage. So yeah. all of those have got to like be synced up and connected properly. And it doesn't yeah. take a minute. So like <laughs> yeah, making it work mm-hmm. is, is just, yeah, there's a lot of pressure on, 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 on me per se from the perspective of making sure that all the tech works because if my station fails, literally yeah, nothing, yeah. you can't hear anything. Works. Uh, so wow. It doesn't matter what Matthew or Jules are singing or playing, yeah, no one will hear anything. Um, so that's, that's, that's the most stressful is every show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you're overcoming and look where you guys are today, which is perfect. So last fun, fun question uh, for all of you. Okay. If you guys would be an animal, what animal would you be? Ooh, I'd like uh, to be an owl. Yeah, that's a good Why one. An owl. <laughs> yeah, look, I mean, we spend a lot of our time out at night. Um, and owls have got amazing ears and amazing eyes. They love watching everything and they're incredibly wise and they're amazing, like spiritual creatures. I know that in some cultures they're seen as, as being harbingers of death, but I think <laughs> that is only for the little rats that they love to eat. Um, and I'm quite happy for rats. Yeah, that's... Um, so I'd like that's to be an owl. Yeah. Interesting. Amazingly... Thank I'd probably be a dolphin. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I love Why a dolphin? I just love the ocean. <laughs> I love okay. the ocean. That's very cool, actually. If you notice it, if you notice no. in like all the good luck like, songs, there's like a lot of sea and ocean <laughs> lyrics. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, we do. Um, that's my. Th- what are you gonna be? Yeah, I don't know. I like Ben's one now, but now now they said that instantly, I almost feel like I want to be like an eagle, right? So I can s- spot all the bad things. And then from a distance, <laughs> and they'd be like, "I don't know what." Fly away, go like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go." Yeah, away. Go. <laughs> Eagle's a good one. Yeah, yeah that's okay. No, but guys, guys, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys, for your time. Thank you for the inspiring knowledge. Um, we cannot wait to see you live and to see you guys this year at other events. Hopefully, we'll meet up and, um, we'll, you know create memories but guys thank you so much for your time i wish you all the best for your success wow. for your future thank you. and uh, god, god bless you yeah thank you guys you yeah, see you. <laughs> we'll see you soon much love much love to you guys cheers cheers bye bye yo guys uh thank you so much for joining so that was your your ultimate electronic trio uh good luck who joined us nicely. So guys, for all the events there where you can miss, where you can see them, you can find it on our website, www.partyfortonight.co.za or partyfortonight.co.com. So um, yes, guys, if you want to view this interview, check out our website in an hour and the interview will be live from good luck. Yours truly, guys. Thank you. Victor is off the road now.